Uh, welcome everybody to our worship today. I hope that those who are listening online and those who are here, uh, may you receive uh, the revelation that comes from the Holy Spirit through the Word. Uh, today's title is The Works of the Triune God and the Answer and the 25 Answer. The Works of the Triune God. And the 25 answer, 25 hour answer. Remember, 25 hour means God's time, it's not our time. We read Genesis chapter 50, verse 19 to 21. Uh, let's go first to our main service. Mm. Our main service title is The Life in His Son. The Life in His Son. We read 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 12. Uh, what is the most important thing that God has given us since we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord, first, He has called you as light and also the salt for this earth. In other words, you have possessed true life. Uh, not any kind of life that is death and life. You have received eternal life. In theological terms, it's called divine life. Zoe, right? Zoe means divine life, divine light, in other words. You have received divine life, which is eternal life. So how important is this divine life or life that we have gained and possessed through Jesus Christ? It was his purpose. The reason why Jesus came to this earth was to give you life, but it says abundantly. So in other words, you have received salvation, but abundantly means now you can enjoy. So God has called your children of God not just to leave this earth, but actually to conquer this, rule it. Subdue it to enjoy all the blessings of what? Within this image, image of God. Within the blessings of the breath of life. Because now you have become living creature. Living creature means you are able to worship God. With what blessings now we're we gonna live? With the blessings prepared by God Himself. Genesis 2:70 to 20 uh, verse 18 the garden of eden remember the garden of eden is not a paradise as we just think the garden in eden is where god's presence were you need to understand god's presence was where in the tree of life and it was in the middle of the garden so middle means in the highest point of the garden. So God was ruling over all the things. He's not visible to your eyes, but you can come and meet him in the tree of life. This was a blessing of who? Of the first humanity, Adam and Eve. So life is everything. Because the moment you were created by his image, you have gained life. You become living creature. Because you're a living creature and worshiping God, that's why you're enjoying the blessing of what? The Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden, in one sense, in the New Testament is Emmanuel. God was with Adam and Eve. So, today we read 
First John five eleven to twelve. But but in first in verse uh, twelve, uh, Jesus himself said, mm, "Because if you have the Son, you have gained what eternal life. If you don't have the Son of God, you don't have life." So that's why Jesus himself became our true life. That's why in John chapter 5, verse, uh, 1 John, uh, verse 5, uh, chapter 5, verse 12 says like this. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have the life. If they don't have the sun, they don't have life. Uh, if you see the works of life in your field, then you can understand that God is with you, and now you can enjoy the blessings within your field. That's why the first point of our main service is what is the difference of someone who has the life versus someone who does not have the life, who doesn't have the life? What is the difference? Very simple. The first difference is if you have life, if you have the Son, sorry, you have salvation. In other words, you have life. If you don't have the Son, you don't have salvation, you don't have life. And life is what? The essence of God. It starts from there, it must finish with that. That's what we call essence. Uh, even people that don't believe or, or have this life can come to church. Right? Even in the Bible says there are, uh, there are lambs in the church. And there are, I forgot the term, yomso. Yeah, goat. Have you seen lamb? Have you seen sheep? They're very beautiful. They're kind of subtle. They're kind of cute, right? When you see goats, first of all, their eyes is very ugly. They're like looking at you but not looking at you. And then when you turn around, there's the hit you in the back. Always. For no reason. But uh, if you see uh, the people that shepherds, lambs or sheep, they always have sheep around like this. Ships likes to be together always because they cannot see far and they're very um, dumb. So they can be lost quickly. So they put a goat here, a couple of goats, because the sheep, they're lazy too. They don't like to move. So when they, when they don't move, uh, all the things starts to get wet and rot. So they need to move, so they put goat in some places. So the goat starts to, like, tackle the sheep, and the sheep starts to move around. So in church-wise, it means uh, even though we have a great faith or we are doing well at church, why would God allow problems in our life? Why God allows conflicts in our life? Why God allows difficulties in our life? Like goats. Why? Do you think because God hates you? Because God wants to give you a miserable life? That's not true. God has a greater purpose for this. And that purpose is for what? So you can find a greater plan of him. Because that's the only way he can work through you. So you can have what? Faith in him alone. Imagine if you can just... Believe in yourself. And because you believed in yourself, everything worked. You have 
No need to believe in God. I've met so many people that believed in God because of the problems they have. It shouldn't be like that always. But I've seen many people that because of their problems in their life, they meet God. And also 99% of our uh, funeral in our church, uh, before they die always, they have the chance to meet God. Uh, before uh, they were, uh, when they are in suffering, any disease, they have the chance to believe in God. It's always, God always have a plan within that problem, that situation. Even today, someone, you know, gave me a text, like, uh, someone uh, that was against me was giving me a hard life, and suddenly this person uh, encountered a very big crisis in their life. So this person was kind of, you know, it, it's kind of relieving. If someone that hates you so much, bothers you so much, suddenly has a hard time and not able to bother you, you feel relieved, right? And I was thinking like that. It's true. It's relieving. It's good. But God also has a plan within them to do what? So they can have what? Eternal life. So that's why all evangelists, all of our members, will need to always ask his plan. In any situation. That's how important is someone who has life. Because it says, in his life, there is a mystery of God. What kind of mystery do we know and now we need to enjoy? It says, you can only enjoy this through His Son. Let's not forget about because Genesis chapter 3, verse 1, 6, is, this, is the event that they have forgotten the mystery of what? Of life. This is Genesis 3, 1, 6. So what happened after Genesis 3, 1, 6? Instead of God, they have raised what? Myself. Instead of God, they have raised more the material things. Instead of God, they have raised their honors and also their uh, success. This is the field where no life is there. So just think about your work. Think about the people that you meet. Everybody is actually just concentrated on what? On their self. On the material things. On the honors and success. Uh, even Pastor Ryu during this uh, adolescence retreat and Kirill went. Did you go? I didn't see you. Did you go? Well, I didn't see you. Sorry. He gave very important messages. One thing I re just mentioning about this, don't say because we don't have money, we cannot do this to your kids. Do you understand what does that mean? Because they would think that money is God. Oh, because there's no money, we cannot build church. Because there's no money, we cannot devote. We, we, we cannot uh, put these seeds of this to our kids from the little. So I was thinking, okay, I have a kid. He's very young, right? I really don't have money to, something, to buy something, right? Let's say, how can I reinterpret this? Many things you can say. But the problem is that even in school, they have no idea what actually they're teaching. Like, do it, to, do it for yourself, you know? Do you want to be poor all your life? Or do you want to have success in your life? It's all about themselves. But remember, that field is Genesis 3, 1, 6. No life. How can you compare that life with the person that has true life? You should not be deceived. Right? Don't be deceived. And I'll mention this little by little. By little. That's why in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12, <clears throat> it says like this. 
Remember that you were at the time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. You were hopeless. You had no thought about how to live in this world. You were separated from Christ, and you were alienated with what? The commonwealth of Israel. In other words, the people of God that must enjoy the things of God, they're lost. Why? Because they have forgotten what? True life. That's why uh, we must understand that people are living a hellish life. Right? And people will go to where? To hell. So I always say this. You live a hellish life, it means you're preparing yourself to go to hell. And then you appear to hell. This is for people that don't have the life. But let's say, people that have the life, why are you practicing to go to hell? Sometimes when we had the Latin Americans come to Korea for 40 days of training, we take, the, we take them to sauna. First, we, we tell them, you got to get naked. And they're like, naked? How can we be naked? Oh, oh, can you have a towel when you go? No, 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 no. You go back to Genesis chapter 1, okay? We're Adam and Eve, all right? And people say, like, okay, okay, that's biblical. And they, they have the courage and take out the pants, and they're looking at each other like that. Like, like their eyes are always up top like, like that. They don't even see in front. And then when, when you get in, you know, they have, like, saunas, right? Hot rooms. So let's feel hell. Like, what, what are you talking about? Let's go to that room. Go in. So hot. They suffer, suffer. And I tell, we tell them, this is like hell. Do you want to live this all your life? No. Remember, you're saved, right? You don't live this. I'm so thankful. People of God should not practice hellish life. You need to understand that God did not call you to live this kind of life. He says, he has taken you out from death and transferred you to what? To life. He moved you from death. You don't belong in this background anymore. That's why you should not be focused in this matter. Genesis chapter 3, 1 to 6. And those who have gone to saunas, the Latin America, they love sauna now. They love it. And when they come out from there, they get white, more whiter than what they used to. And I'm like, remember, the reason why we go there is you know, just for fun, you know, to let them know that we don't live for this. We don't live for that. Why would you practice for this? Unbelievers don't practice. They think it's their destiny. That's why they suffer. We should not be deceived. That's why in John chapter 1, 12, it says, Those who receive him, God will give you the authority to become children of God. Right to become the children of God. One more thing we need to understand. There is no human conditions that you can add to be saved. Do you understand what it means? You don't add to salvation. Salvation is not one ingredient. Okay? Salvation is purely God's covenant. Not an ingredient, theological, because element is an element of God. So how, how can you add your conditions to be saved if it's purely element of God? You cannot. But people add with what? With good deeds, which is efforts, religion. Traditions. I'm not saying that you should not do this. It means, I'm saying you, sh you shouldn't add to salvation. 
That's why people that add their own condition to salvation, they don't have assurance of salvation. Conviction of salvation. That's why if you have understood this, now what you need to do is you must make Jesus as your Lord. Doesn't mean that Jesus is not with you. You must make him master of your life. You must submit to him. Submit, me, submit means committing to him. Same terms, different style to present this. So you're, Satan will tell you, Jesus is not with you. Because you have not put him as a master of your life. But don't be deceived. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, he said, I'll be with you forever. Eternity. That's why everything we do will be the blessings of Romans chapter 8, verse 2. Romans chapter 8, verse 2 says, For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. So that's the first point. The second point. It says, enjoy the essence in, walk, in the walk of faith. I think I wrote it kind of wrong, but in other, in other words, you need to enjoy the essence within the walk of faith. So what is the essence of our walk of faith? Jesus is to Christ. Adding more, Christ is Jesus. And Christ is Christ. What does that Christ mean? Christ is Christ means? Christ is God. So you need to understand, the essence of our walk of faith is Jesus is the Christ. So we heard in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. It says, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. Verse 8, We are not afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but, dri but, uh, but not driven to despair. Many things will happen to us, but he says, all these things will not let you be in despair. Uh, in Korean, we can also explain like, incompetence. When you have conflicts and you don't believe in this, Conflict starts to add up, add up, add up, add up, and then becomes a crisis. And then what happens? Your spiritual state comes to be incompetence. Incompetence means what? I cannot do anything. I'm not able to do this. Going back to this. This is what we call incompetence. Uh, we don't need to do the worldly things. Even there's uh, in the Kumin newspaper, there's two couple that are doctors and they're like very smart. They say that to increase the quality of the life, they take depressing uh, 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 pills to suppress depression. So you know what bipolar disease, right? Hyperness and lowness right so I met someone that is, had this problem right he, ha he was a roommate of my RTS he was a pastor kid so uh, he used to be treated in a psychology uh, psychiatrist with medicine so he used to go to the uh, mental institute in Kwesan in Kwesan there's a big mental institute for mental health problems in Kwesan and so funny thing, in Kwesan, there's so many accidents. I don't know why. Traffic. In my, the, the five years I've been driving, still now, 
there were always like car accident in Kwesan. I don't know. So that place, there's a big institute, mental institute, right? So he used to go there. One day, he came and he was another person. He was so hyper. He was in the room in a class, like typing, like he was so smart. He can type everything, what the pastor says, all the things. Even he would type if the pastor cough. He cough, cough, like that. And then he would be like, Amen, like that. And then when he finished, he, he puts the enter like so hard, like, pack, like that. I'm like, what's wrong with you? You were not like this a few months ago. And then he came to my room, right? Because he he's our roommate. Oh, man, you cannot control him. He will steal everything. He will steal all the things, all the things of my friends. The money, all the, if you have an iPad, he will sell it. And buying some, that day he brought a car. I'm like, do you have a license? No, I use my mom's license. I'm like, how are you supposed to pay this? Oh, I pay for it monthly. To the point that then all, the, all my friends were so angry, right? And then he, they grabbed him, put him in the, in the ground, and they started preaching the gospel to him. And he's like, oh, yes, yes, amen, amen. I'm like, he's not listening. He's not listening. So everybody, go hajima, like that. You go hajima, okay? Don't do this, okay? We forgive you, but don't do this. He said, okay, okay. And I see his eye, he's like crazy still. So he, okay, then we fall asleep. And then he starts to, I'm a sensible and sensitive in sleeping, right? So he wakes up, he starts to, again, steal. And then run away. It was almost for three months like that. Do you think I, I slept? So then I asked him, hey, what's wrong with you, man? You were not like that. You know, I'm a pastor kid. You're a pastor kid. Let's talk about it, right? So he told me, uh, there's two pills. One for when you're too hyper, you take this pill so you get a little bit, you know, less calm down. So... The other one is when you're too low, you take this pill and you get hyper. So he said, feeling low for him is the worst thing. So he started to not take this pill and just take this pill. So he was so hyper to the point that he would make all decisions to make money. He was trapped by it. When he was, in, when he was taking this pill... He would sit in his bed. He was in the second bed, bunker bed. He would sit in the bed and look at the, at the wall for six, seven, eight hours, doing nothing. You call him, hey, hey, let's go eat. Oh, yeah. And he would just stay there. This is physical, right? But spiritually, if you are in this state, how can you really enjoy the blessings of what God has given to you? Um, sadly, uh, the last time I heard, he's still in the mental institute. He didn't want to go. He says, it's a pain. He will go crazy. One time I also went to the States, I went to the mental institute for the first time. So I went with a pastor, I went, and everybody's crazy there, okay? Have you ever run to a mental institute? My brother used to go to a mental institute, and he used to uh, internship somehow about psychologists, about, uh, about mental problem, right? Even the doctor is crazy. Everybody's in medicine. Everybody. And actually, there's no cure. But more dangerous than just physical, this physical problem is spiritual state. You don't know. If you don't have life, I told you, it's a hellish life. And I don't need to explain you much so you can understand what blessing you have received, actually. We have all the blessing already. That's why, don't fall into this, but God today, through his word, he says, have the spiritual battle. In James chapter 4, 7, it says, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 
Uh, yesterday I went to Chengdu, right? In Chengdu, it says there is a is famous for bullfight, bullfight. You know, cow fight. I didn't know cow fights. They say there's a very they're famous bullfight, and I said, how do you know they won? The bull that gets tired goes back and he flees. I don't know. If you resist the devil, he just flee away. Because he just comes to just, you know, like a lion around you to see if you're just, you know, weak. And then trying to scare you, to devour you. But he cannot actually do that. That's why, uh, to summarize you the adolescents, 청소년 수련회. Mm. Well, I, I was in Ilcha, the second, first day, second stage. So I was from Tuesday to uh, Thursday. And my brother also was in Tuesday and Thursday. One thing he said to me is, like, this schedule is too hard. Wake up, message. Wake up, go message. <laughs> mm. It says, the first... Lecture, just summarizing to you, it says, do not be deceived. By who? By Satan. Second, it says, deceive Satan. How can you deceive Satan? Because he's dumb, I told you. He's been using the same strategy since Genesis chapter 3. Do you understand? The only thing he wants from you is just focus on yourself. You don't need God. Go for money. Go for success. Babel, Nephilim, and Genesis chapter 3. That's the same strategy we see today, 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, before the foundation of this world. So Satan is not too smart. So deceive Satan. How can you deceive Satan? Just look at David. Pastor Ru gave the Dave, David's life with this. He did not kill Saul, King Saul even though he had the chance, right? When Saul died, he was not happy. He even killed the messenger that reported him that he died. And he took care of whose, uh, uh, Saul's son to the end. Jonathan, sorry. Also, Joseph, he was sold a slave. And what happened? He met his brother, but did not kill them. Today we read, don't worry. Am I in position of God to, let you, to punish you? No. So he is recognizing that God sent him here ahead of them to save the little ones and save the families and be in the name of God through Israel. Job. You know Job, right? All the things disappear, but he did not choose to unbelief or disbelief God. So he deceived what? Satan. If you deceive Satan, what happened? He's crumbled down completely. Why? Because God, through Christ as a king, he has defeated and destroyed the authority of Satan. That's why deceive Satan. Deceive Satan, in other words, because I think many people will be confused, please enjoy And third, if you enjoy, now he says, challenge. With what? With the answer 25, but with the throne. This was the three messages that God gave us through adolescence uh, retreat. I was listening to it. I was like, wow. It, uh, I received so much grace, and I was thinking, our remnants are different. They're receiving a message that for the age, actually. For actually 2050 to 2080 age. Juhyun and Chanyok, you went to this message, right? You need to make it yours to the point that you can share it to others. And this time they made a musical about the <clears throat> fentanyl uh, case. Did you see? Did you see the musical? Or you fell asleep? Hmm? My brother fell asleep. 
because uh, they, uh, in my opinion, I really, uh, I was kind of impressed, even though their English was not so great, you know, but the artless students and RGS students made this mus musical. So the script uh, was very well made. Some, you know, we can make twitches, but looking at, ah, my remnants made this masterpiece. And I, I saw it objectively, and I said, they're looking at the field correctly. Because at the end of this musical, they were talking about what? Emmanuel. Okay? All the musicals, if you see the conclusions, is this. Hero. You're the hero. You worked so hard. You made something. Now you have come to this place. Now help others. That's musical of this world. But if I see the remnants here, they concluded with Emmanuel. So actually, I was kind of touched looking at this. So I said, okay, even though we are in crisis, conflicts, and problems, our remnants are rising. And we must keep praying and don't come out from the essence of, the, of our walk of faith. So the conclusion is actually this what are the works of trying God in 25 hours? First, remember, triune God dwells in you through the Holy Spirit. He dwells in you through the Holy Spirit. It means now you possess five powers in you. The nine powers of the throne. The blessings of the three ages. You are witnesses of what? Of enjoying these blessings. Remember, the introduction of prayer, 서론, uh, 기도의 서론, the introduction of prayer is healing. Okay? And the theme of prayer is filling of the Holy Spirit. 기도의 본론은 성령 충만. And the conclusion of prayer is word evangelization. You need to understand what is actually is prayer, okay? So prayer is looking to God, right? Prayer is also conversating with God and spiritual breathing. So more than that, you enjoy and relay the blessing of the throne to others and to myself. Second, the triune God guides you with who? Guides you through the Holy Spirit. First, He dwells in you through the Holy Spirit. And now He guides you through the Holy Spirit. Uh, Paul knew this and he prayed until he met that person. That place. So that was everything. And third, triune God <coughs> works through the Holy Spirit. What does that actually mean? You need to understand that in order to have the blessing of the Holy Spirit, triune God Working through His Holy Spirit, you must be filled with the Holy Spirit. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So that's why every morning you wake up, the first thing you need to be doing is what? Being filled with the Holy Spirit. So that's why don't complicate your prayer in the morning. Don't try to pray so many things because with that you cannot think about filling of the Holy Spirit. Keep it simple. That's why. All of this, we see that the early church enjoyed. The early church enjoyed this. They concentrated on this. And they became what? The witnesses of it. So, the conclusion is... Very simple. If you want to see the works of God and the answer of 25, 
you first need to know that God, triune God, dwells in you through the Holy Spirit. And because He dwells in you through the Holy Spirit, He guides you through the Holy Spirit. And because He's guiding you, now He works through you, through the Holy Spirit. The early church concentrated on this, and they're witness of this. And they went to, on to what? World evangelization. So this coming week, you're meeting your families, uh, your close members of your families too. Your TCK is also, you meet your families, right? We all meet our family. You need to understand why God has allowed this, first of all. What is the plan? And you must become what? The light and the salt. Actually, you are the light and the salt. Just being there, you're already shining the light. You don't need to actually do something. Can Okay, Clean well. Okay. When I was in Panama, we always cooked. The men cooked. But I always hear stories that because when there's lunar year, there's always fight about that. Like when the, when the I don't know the names, you know, when the, the women come, right, from other families, like they don't, she doesn't do anything or he doesn't do anything. I'm doing this and I'm doing this. Everybody, and then they're sitting down looking at each other like fighting each other. I'm like, why? Why you do that? Right? <laughs> so that's why when you go there, you clean, okay? Ask mom, what should I do? Okay. Don't make problems. Don't be troublemaker there. So that's actually just being the light and salt. Don't be just stealing things there and doing nothing. So I hope that within this week, uh, see what God does in your family. Don't just look now, but look at the future and look now. Then you have leisure, and then you can pray. So I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ so you can enjoy the blessings of Triune God and the works of Triune God. Let's pray. God, thank you for giving us this time. Let us really enjoy the blessings of Triune God and his works and his guiding and also his uh, indwelling. Because you are with us, working always and giving us all the answers through your word. Bless all of our families and bless all of our members here so they can enjoy the blessing of salvation and true life, which is divine life. Thank you, God, and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I know lunar year is pretty busy for you, but I hope that uh, through our worship, we can really save uh, our English-speaking communities and also the other places. Remember, from next month, uh, we will be dividing our worship with English ministry and FMS remnant. So I hope that those who are in charge of that place or that category, uh, you keep praying and receive the guidance. We only have another Sunday to now change the little bit of the system. And at the end of the day, uh, we have uh, also, we are thinking how to, um, how do you call that? To let know our worship more. And we talked about it and, and actually, uh, Chongyun, Taeyeon Chongyun is helping us with that, you know, the, like a welcoming video about our departments, like a short, you know. So our Hannah Church also members know, because many Hannah Church members think they have never been here. I was like, what, really? They like, not even like, go and, I, I would have done it, right? But they think eyes for just Tamin Jong, right? So they think, in a way to respect the space. But... Uh, it shouldn't be like that, right? It shouldn't be. It should be always open. And she's also working and helping us with that. And as we talk, or we talk, I think we are preparing also for. I don't know what kind of platform is better, but Facebook is, or somehow the community. So uh, 
foreigners can reach us and see that there's an English worship. Um, yes, and also in February, March, yeah, February and March, there will be overseas conference, and I'll probably be going with head pastor together. So he's actually going to Indonesia. I'm not going for Indonesia, but he's going to Indonesia the February 13 to 17. Indo yeah, Indonesia. So there's an RRI, which is the Seminary Theologically Reform, whatever, whatever <laughs> there's a long name, in Indonesia. So our church is praying for that. And actually, we gave an offering so we can help them in the construction. So they will be, my head pass, our head pastor will be going. But this time I will go with, them, with him because he's going with another pastor. So he don't need my assistance in that part. And he, on March 13 to 14, he's going to Hawaii. So, uh, and then we'll come back right away because... Uh, the 18, he has a personal celebration. And the March 30 to 31, there is a Japan conference. So if you can go, I don't know if you go, but if you can go, uh, you can attend. Oh, so, Kwon Sanim too, right? Uh, our head pastor is going. I need to go, but I'm applying for visa, but it's taking long. And... And then April 4 to 6, he's going to Frankfurt, which is Germany. Yeah, you can go. You can go. Prepare for that, okay? Don't think that, okay, adults will go. Prepare. Pray. Pray about it. And then after, you know, April, May is very kind of um, busy. And then we have, like, World Remnant Conference, all that, and then in September, we have uh, United States uh, RCA, RCA, no, it's uh, University Conference in the United States. So that's September 4 to 8. 4, 4 to 8. It is in uh, Washington. So after that, they're still planning and making what to do. And there will be another Chondo Jipe in Japan in October. And in December, there is Latin America uh, conference, evangelist conference. Uh, I hope that you keep praying for that. And if you have the chance, you'll be good to go. And also, one more thing. Um, in our military camp in, in Korea, uh, Pastor David asked me if we can take one remnant uh, to, to the camp with Kwang Sok Changnyan. I don't know what to, oh. or so he, uh, we want to take one remnant so we can see, we can show him the field because inside there there's like a military it's military culture it's American culture so the FMS remnant uh, if you tell me what person then we can pray about it and I can make decision can you still go to the camp even though you even though you don't have anyone now to access uh, like like the American camp, military camp. You cannot go there right now? All right, okay. So that's the announcement. Thank you very much. Happy Lunar Year.